Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a simple Valentine's Day bunting. Now the secret ingredient for this is actually the stuff called Foomph. Now this is not a dollar store item. It'll run you in the two to three dollar range for one sheet. It comes in a nine by twelve sheet. Um, and I got, I cut this in half when I made mine and I got um, five little flags out of each half. So I, you can make, with one sheet, you can make one long bunting or two shorter buntings. You get about 10 flags out of one sheet. So it's not a dollar store item, but it's still really inexpensive. You'll also need some fabric. And what the foomph does is it is, as you can see here, it peels off. It's like a big sticker. Um, and this is sticky and you peel the backing off and you stick it down to a piece of fabric and just smooth it on press it down good and you do that on both sides you sandwich it between two pieces of fabric and then when you cut the fabric the fabric will not fray so it's a great way to work with um, like cottons and whatnot when you want to do like a no sew project really quick and you don't want to like take the time to fray check the edges this is super super quick to use. So you'll need this, some fabric, and then some embellishments. I use these are from the dollar store. I got these at Dollar Tree last year for Valentine's Day. Um, I snatched up a whole bunch of them because I thought they were really, really cute. So let me show you how I put this all together. Gather together your foomph, some fabric. I used a remnant of cotton quilt backing and some floral hearts or whatever embellishments you happen to have on hand. Sandwich the foomph between two layers of fabric and then cut it into triangle shapes and then glue your embellishments onto the triangles. Then using an upholstery needle, string them together with some baker's twine or other string and you have your simple Valentine's Day bunting. If you like this craft, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to also visit dollarstarcrafts.com for lots more great inexpensive craft ideas. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again soon.